your Mac can do hundreds of clever things. Welcome to our best macOS tips, tricks and secret features. In this video, we will show you our 13 favorite useful macOS tips and tricks to the Mac operating system over the years. So without further ado, let's get started. tired of looking at the same old default folder icons in macOS? I mean sure, the Mac's default folder image is fine and all, but nothing beats the custom graphics, right? And the good news is that it's easy and fun to use custom folder icons in macOS. To get started with the custom folder icons, first, select the folder you would like to customize, press and hold command plus i to open that folder's info panel. Open the image you want to use for the folder's icon in preview. Press command plus a to select it and then command plus c to copy it. After that, go back to info panel, click this icon and press command plus v to paste your customized image. This looks awesome, right? If you want to make your terminal talk and surprise your friend, then this trick is for you. Open up the terminal by searching on Spotlight and then type say. After that, write whatever you want and press return on the keyboard. Dum dum dee dum 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 dee dum dum dee dum 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 dee dum dee dum 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 dee dum dee dum dum dee dum is a handful of tricks you can use when selecting text within a document or web page. Like many good tricks, these techniques are simple but could potentially change the way you work with your Mac. Just simply press and hold command, select your favorite lines and you can copy and paste them wherever you want. screen modes divide your computer screen into two different hubs so you can view two different window at the same time this is immensely useful for research projects and more complex work professionals hunt down ways to split their skin whenever they get a new computer first up open a window after that press and hold the green button you can see the screen slide into one half of your screen now open another window that you want to split view cool right the default animation is minimal and probably won't bother most people, but I find it kinda annoying. For this reason, I use a simple terminal command to alter the auto hide delay for the dock. It's one of the first thing that I do on a new macOS installation. First up, open spotlight hitting command plus space. After that, search for terminal and hit return. Now paste the following command into your terminal window and press return on the keyboard. You will find all the information of this video in the description below. So definitely check the description. This command sets the dock auto hide time to zero. Now whenever you need to use dock, it's just there. Now this is awesome, right? When you receive a PDF document by email that you must sign. The process of printing out the file, signing on the dotted line with a pen, scanning the signed document and sending it back can be a rather tedious task. Fortunately, Apple introduced the ability to electronically sign a PDF document using Preview, a program that comes pre-installed on every Mac. To do that, launch the PDF file you need to sign in Preview. Click on the toolbox icon and then the signature icon. Click on create signature. After that, click here to begin. Draw your signature on the trackpad. Click any key when finished. Click on the signature created to insert it into the PDF document. The signature can be moved or resized like a regular image. Impressive, right? By default, OS X saves every screenshot that you capture on your Mac as a PNG file. PNG stands for Portable Network Graphics and is a lossless format that can retain the quality of the image. The only drawback of this format is the files tend to be larger than the other formats, which may not be convenient for those who want to upload their screenshots to the web. First, you need to launch Terminal on your Mac. To do that, open up Spotlight hitting Command plus Space. After that, search for Terminal and hit Return. Now paste the following command into the Terminal window and press Return on the keyboard. This changes the file format to JPEG. If you 
press and hold the shift button and minimize any application on your Mac, then it will minimize the window with cool slow motion. Maybe this is the reason why this trick named the genie effect. The trick is not helpful, but you can try it for fun. You can precisely adjust the volume levels on a Mac by holding down the shift and option keys while pressing the volume up or down keys. This lets you adjust the sound level by one fourth each notch. This is perfect if you like to precisely adjust the audio level of speakers. Though it may be used best with external speakers which tend to play either too soft or too loud. It works on the Mac internal speakers too and headphones as well. Easily the best way to find the best volume for you. If you love emojis like me and use them often, then you will definitely love this one. This shortcut makes an emoji keyboard pop up anywhere you can type on Mac. Just press Ctrl, Command and Space at the same time. Pressing the Command button in the upper right corner provides even more shortcuts for weird characters. First up, launch Spotlight by hitting the command and the space keys on your keyboard. Now just type any mathematical expression, for example, if you type in 4 plus 3, Spotlight will evaluate the expression super quick. You can do any mathematical expressions with the division, add, subtract and multiply keys on your keyboard. Now you have a quick and easy way to do your math calculations without even having to launch a calculator on your Mac. the nicer but relatively unknown features of Mac operating system 10 is its ability to create text clippings. Text clippings are basically selections of text that have been saved for later and can be dropped into another document at any time. It's a bit like the layaway version of copy and paste and all you have to do to create one is drag some highlighted text to the desktop. Up, launch spotlight by hitting the command and space keys on your keyboard. After that search for terminal and hit return. Now paste the following command into the terminal window and press return on the keyboard. Here you go, Star Wars, easy as pie. There are no play, pause, controls button. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our video. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe our channel. Don't forget to comment below what you think about this video. And we will see you in the next one.